Thank you, welcome, thank you. So one of the new features in Omnisphere 2 is the ability to import your own audio, okay? And it's a pretty cool feature because you can do a lot with all the different synthesis methods, the filter, the modulations, the effects. But before I get there, I want to talk to you about the sound that I'm going to process. There's a specific reason why I picked the sound that I picked. I'm sure you guys had the same experience. When you are recording something, something happens. But that accident actually makes your performance more unique. However, there is one sound that has been tormenting my life. So the time has come to face my sonic enemy. Finally. The leaf blower! This infernal machine that ruins the life of many musicians. And think about it, for what? For a fistful of leaves! All right, so I imported that little audio clip, and this is how it sounds by itself. From that sound, we go into this. So, we have a little bit of harmonia applied to the original sound. On top of that, I am adding a very unique effect that comes with Omnisphere 2 called Inner Space. Inner Space takes the sonic qualities of one sound and applies to another sound. Do you hear how the sound gets extended and the additional resonances? After that, I am applying a second effect called Toxic. Toxic is a beat crusher, so it makes the sound very aggressive. However, you can modulate different parameters with different modulation sources like LFOs, envelopes, and other things. So in this particular case, I am modulating the cutoff of Toxic with an LFO, and this is how it sounds now. Let's go to the second element. This is a very interesting part because, as you just heard, there is a very distinct kick drum sound and a snare drum sound, okay? But they are on the same part, and as you can see, they are triggered by the same arpeggiator. In Omnisphere, we have these uh, complex envelopes where you can draw lines straight ramps and things like that, but you can also use them as on and off switches. So in this particular case, complex envelope one is controlling the level, the volume of the kick drum sound. And complex envelope two is controlling the snare. My third part is the Xperi bass. Right after I built it, I realized that I'm not a double bass player, so I had no idea exactly what to do with it, because I built it as an experiment, as a sonic, as a sound design experiment. So I thought, well, I can play percussion somehow. Let me just try to play this instrument percussively. So this is the very first pattern that I played on the Xperi bass. Okay, my fourth part, it's a kind of a classic sound in the spaghetti western genre. It's the mouth harp. And it's a very simple instrument that sounds like this. So, where is this sound coming from? It comes from the phrase libraries that now you have in Omnisphere 2, because not only we went from four basic waveforms to 400 in the synthesizer, then we added a bunch of custom-built instruments, but we also added a huge number of phrases that you can manipulate and transform into something like this. Now, this is a completely different pattern, and it kind of sounds a little weird because it's kind of broken up. However, 
you have to listen to this in the context of the mix. You see, it starts to make more sense now. All right, the fifth element. It's a very simple element, but it adds grit. My sixth element is a percussive and tonal element, once again derived from the leaf blower audio clip, and it sounds like this. When I combine it with the drums, so everything makes sense when you hear it in the right context. Next element, real quick. Again, leaf blower sound. With a little bit of FM to modify the timbre. And the last element is a guitar sound that I created once again from one of the phrases that we have now in Omnisphere 2. I can use granular synthesis on both layers on the same sample and create something like this. Once again, you will start to perceive the real sense of rhythm when we combine everything together. And I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna go into stack mode. Stack mode shows you my eight parts where everything starts and ends because I can fade in and fade out the different parts on the keyboard. And now I am ready to play my new Western track. no external effects, and most of the sounds have been created from a clip of a leaf blower. So if life throws leaf blowers at you, you just take them, record the sound, and make music out of it. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everybody, for your time. Thank you. Thank you.